Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase. I got sneaks today and I've been enjoying doing them outdoors. I am currently in Utah, just a few feet from, not Neva, but Nevada. There's the Nevada state line, basically right from there across there where the fence is. Utah, Nevada, and I have Matchbox Sneak Peaks. We're going to go through them pretty rapidly, all new castings. Some you've seen, or some I've already previewed, but we're going to get to it right now. Let's start with stuff coming very, very soon. Obviously, these are going to come from moving parts collectors. Obviously, they do moving parts models that will appear in collectors or moving parts lines. Also, just basics without any moving parts, but we got all new stuff. This, I believe, I've got to remember, this is the Lamborghini Aventador moving parts with the metal doors. I believe this is already out with the Bronco set. I could be wrong, but we're going to show it anyway because it came with what Mattel sent, by the way. Abe and the Mattel team sent these over so I can showcase them for you and do some sneak peeks. I think I have some more coming soon, too scissor doors after we put them on the turntable I can show them here with the doors open and then they close actually pretty well nice orange Aventador new casting of course doors kind of fit in nicely lots of details on this one kind of cool to see this is the uh, Aventador Roadster SVJ Roadster which is cool I think it was, a, was it a Hot Wheels that does the uh, hard top on this one right nonetheless there it is very, very cool car. I think already out. Some of you might already have it. So we'll just continue to move on. Let's go to a couple models that I've already shown. This one I showcased in a short on Instagram. This is a very, very exciting model. I'll actually show you the base so you can see what it is. It's actually a 1993 BMW E30 M3. Opening part. So this one actually will debut in Collector. There's going to be a... Um, Mattel Creations version of this one too. But this one looks very, very cool. Some of you pointed out that the hood, I'll just show you, here's the engine. Let's see if I'll, I'll have to go upside down so you can see it. The hood is supposed to open the other way. Not sure exactly why it is this way. I know that some were modified that way, but I, who knows? It could be construction, could be anything else. Uh, you can see that detail in there and the casting itself, as you put it on the turntable, looks fantastic. Obviously kind of a racing modified version, I think. Those of you that understand with this big spoiler in the back, love the racing stripes on this one. Love how they've gone uh, away from the BMW M. Not that I think they should go away from the BMW M striping. They, we should definitely see some like that, but I like this yellow, orange, and is that black striping on this one? It really stands out. I also think that this five spoke real rider or five spoke two piece tire with rubber tires really works on this one because it is a higher profile tire, a thicker tire, which kind of plays well with the era on this one. I really, really dig this model. It'll be in collector very soon. The other one, which has gotten plenty of play since I showed this and actually fits. I mean, I could basically frame a picture here, right? I could put it on the road and it would look like, oh my gosh, it just looks perfect. There you go, there it is coming. Brand new casting for moving parts. I'm sure we'll see it in Collector as well. It is the 1995 Chevy C1500. Fantastic, just classic truck we've seen. And when I did the short on this one, I did it uh, in another part of Utah. Um, much, much further away from Nevada, of course. But uh, I love the stock stance of this one. I love the factory color of this one. I love that there's no frills. I love that it's not, I actually really love that it's not an extended cab. That this is just like utility pickup and it's just wonderful just a happy happy truck and matchbox does a lot of these i showed them in the short right they've done the step side square body um they've done uh, you can go back to the 62 or the 63 chevy you go back to the old gmc's they've done a lot of these kind of classic trucks and i guess you could say a 95 is definitely vintage at this point and uh, i think that this one is really really well done the new uh, the new chevy truck so that one is there going into moving parts when these come out i don't know um 
this year, obviously. How soon? I would say within the next, what, two or three months probably, but we'll, we'll learn that very, very soon because this one I know is going to be ridiculously popular. Another one that I think is coming, this is either Collector or to be honest, it could be Mattel Creations. I'm not totally sure, but another new casting that I'm very excited to show off with a metal chassis. This is the 1973 Mazda Savannah RX3, a casting that we've seen modified from Hot Wheels, right? A modified version, wide body version that we saw in the very, very first Japan Historics. This one, you know, I think if you put plain colors, you'd say that this is more of a factory version, but with the racing liveries on it, it obviously looks a little bit more racing. So it actually is hard to tell, but I think this is actually more of like a, like a stock version of the, uh, of the Mazda RX-3. Again, I don't think this one has any moving parts on it, so this could just be in collector without the moving parts, but I dig it. I dig the wheels. I dig the racing livery. I dig the design. That's what we're really focused on here. And you can see it's got that signature grill from the RX-3, the signature taillights from the RX-3. Um, you know, obviously they're going to have to put tampos on this one. So this one could potent, well, I don't know if you'll see this one ever in basic because of the metal chassis, but you know, I'm, we're still kind of seeing what the future is with these metal chassis models. Uh, if they would ever go into the dollar versions uh, into the dollar line, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'm very excited to see this one. Really, really cool new casting that I think a lot of people will def definitely like considering it's stock. Speaking of cool classics, look at that desert. Isn't that amazing? Salt flats are just to the south of me. In fact, those are probably the salt flats too, but anyway, you want to see cars. So here's another one. Classic Corvette. We'll look at the base on this one. 1963 Chevy Corvette. Casting that we've seen others do. I don't know if Hot Wheels has ever done. Yeah, they've done versions of this car. I don't think they've ever done a convertible. This is obviously a main, this will be a main line, I'm pretty sure. Considering, you know, the plastic chassis, the simplicity of the casting, like no moving parts or anything like that. But uh, it is very, very clean and very, very cool. Vet 327. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was going to say. Nonetheless, very, very cool. I like, like I said, the simplicity of this one is very nice. You've got the uh, Corvette logo on the front with the two flags. I think this one will be, you know, again, I look at the silhouette in the Matchbox packaging, and that's how I think of Matchbox, are these simple factory cars. That's what we all want to see from Matchbox. And, uh, you know, realism and, like, things you see on the street. Not that this would be, and you know what I mean. Anyway, very, very cool version. Moving on. Here is the last of the completed models. And we will see this one, I believe, also in Collector. I don't see any moving parts unless I'm not seeing it at all. But look at this one. This is the Radical SR3 XXR. Very, very cool new casting. I'm walking away from it because there's a bug that's... Uh... So I'm going to walk into the street a little bit, kind of... Or road, highway road, deserted road. But I don't know if you would see this one on this road for sure. It doesn't look as realistic coming down this road as maybe the truck would being out here in rural Utah. I guess I could walk this into Nevada, should I? Don't want to fall into anything though. There, now I'm showing it in Nevada. Welcome to Nevada. There's Utah. Anyway, very, very cool model. A very, very interesting model. I think this is an EV if I'm remembering correctly, but I'll have to look it up. You guys will obviously correct me very, very quickly if I've got it wrong. Um, but a really cool race car. Matchbox has been doing some of these as well. Kind of interesting, kind of experimental. I don't know if this you call this an experimental car, but just like interesting, kind of little off the beaten path kind of car. So you guys, I really like the details in this one. The casting is beautiful. I love the red striping especially towards the top there. You know, we've seen Bugattis have that, but I really do think that thing looks really, really cool. And I think it'll be a model, another that will be popular. And clearly because of the, uh, well, no, are those not? Those are not, those are plastic wheels. This will be in the basic range. Almost positive this will be in the basic range. So stand corrected. Look for this one just in the, uh, in the basics. That'll be cool. All right, we'll put that one back. And I've got three here that are not finished. The castings are done, but obviously we're going to see them without deco. And here is the first one. This one is a moving part, so we'll either see it in collector or moving parts to start. Oh, it is this early. It is this early. Look at this base. Now this one, it's the Chevy, right? It's a Chevy van, kind of, or it's obviously not a van, but it's a pickup. I can't. 
you know, I should have looked this up, but I, there's no, there's no uh, chassis for me to read there. M90, I'm trying to think if there's anything else there now. So this is, I think of Chevy, it's the, oh man, see now I'm gonna forget, but I, I know what it's called. Uh, but another stock version, Hot Wheels I think did a kind of a racing premium version of this one, but this one is a very, very cool one, and this moving part is this side opening door that, would that be for like livestock or something else? Motorcycles, anything like that to go into the back of this truck? We'll have to look this one up, okay? So look it up, it's a Chevy, I know that. I'm almost positive it's Chevy, I don't think it's Ford. And you guys are all gonna get after me and I deserve it, I do deserve it. Especially one, because this is probably another one that would probably fit nicely in our little setup here, right? Yeah, it would. I think it would. So anyway, there it is. I'm doing it no justice. Maybe I'll put it in the comments or you guys will say in the comments what it is. And uh, it'll be interesting to see this one develop. And obviously, if I get a finished version, I will do a much better job of reporting what it is. Moving on. This one is easy to know what it is. It's just there's... That's a signature look. A Nissan Pathfinder. You can show me a current Pathfinder. It would look like every other, like, kind of... Stra just, just kind of standard crossover SUV that passes by. But the classic, the original with that pillar, that kind of cross pillar. This is something that I think those of us that, uh, when this car debuted, this, the, this is a signature look. And I love that Matchbox is doing the Nissan Pathfinder. There is the chassis. This one is actually completed, 1985 Nissan Pathfinder. A classic, a perfect casting for Matchbox to do considering the era, considering everything else. It's not done, obviously. It does no deco, but obviously this one would fit, or maybe it would fit, yeah. Let's put it out. Let's put it out there. That works even better. Put a tent next to it or just let it fly by with dust behind it because that would work perfectly. This thing is just awesome. Just an awesome, awesome model. So we'll see. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I assume it's basic because there's no moving parts on it. I like it that way. Um, I think this will be a popular basic model. Gonna kind of can show you inside just to get a sense of what the interior looks like, if you can see it. But this one will be a very, very cool model. One more. Okay, I don't know if it's the BMW or the Pathfinder. I think the Chevy truck I'm super, super excited about, but there's a lot of cars to be excited about here, even just the, among the small group of sneak peeks. But I think, I, you know, I, if I had to say among collectors, I think the Chevy truck is going to be the most popular. But I think a lot of people are going to be very intrigued and very excited about the upcoming Aston Martin V8 Vantage. This would be what, like a mid to late 70s car? This is obviously not complete. They put premium wheels on this, which actually look really good, even with, even in that color. And even with this purple and green and blue interior, which is a hilarious combination, but it doesn't matter. This is an incomplete. In fact, it doesn't even have the chassis here. But I do know this is the V8 Vantage. That's one I do know. Um, hooray for me, right? But um, so the color combination, don't pay any attention to it other than the fact that it's kind of unique. But I mean, I could see this one in British Racing Green. I could see this one in black. I could see it in a million colors, but it's just this is you get to get a sense of the casting by looking at it now. And I think it is uh, pretty much spot on. It looks so good. You want to see like from the width of the casting, obviously the length of the casting, and then the details and the way they've done this one. Again, I have no idea if this is going to get a metal chassis and be a collector model or if it's going to be a basic. There is no moving parts on it. But you can see they have an extra piece, right? Because the bumpers are one color and the interior is another and the chassis is even another. This might be a premium model. I wouldn't be surprised if it has a metal chassis, but you get that break with the front bumper and you get that break with the rear bumper. And this thing's just going to be a classic, an instant classic and like a perfect, perfect matchbox model. And I cannot wait to see the finished product. So I would say all in all, the M3 is a really good one. But this one might be, might be the, might be the best one when it's all said and done. But you know, we can decide. You guys, tell me what you think. Which one are you most excited about? What model do you think you'll fight for? I have no idea. But we'll just stay here on the side of. I'll let you take in this border. There's our little table there. There's Nevada. I think it's kind of cool. It is so quiet out here. We did have one utility truck pass by, but not much else. 
That's a long way away out there. If you can see way, way in the distance outside of that snow-capped mountain, there's other snow-capped mountains. That would be, you know, towards northern Utah, I guess. But it's pretty sweet and very, very deserted. Okay, tell me which models you're most excited about. Thanks to the Matchbox teams for letting me do these sneak peeks. They're pretty fun. More to come. Thanks, everybody. Bye.